Hey everybody, welcome back to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're gonna take a look again at the PreSonus Revelator right here. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up to do live streaming with OBS, how I would use it when I would do live streaming to YouTube with OBS. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna take a look at how I set up with OBS and how we can use the loop back features inside of the Revelator software so we can blend backing tracks, music from our DAW, et cetera, et cetera. If you wanna see my other videos as part of the Revelator series, they're in the description box below. So check those out. And if you'd like to purchase a Revelator for yourself, you can check it out at Sweetwater. Links in the description box below. Full disclosure, that is an affiliate link. So if you do purchase Purchase something from Sweetwater, whether it's the Revelator or anything else using that link. It helps support what I do here at Home Recording Made Easy. So I want to let you know that right up front and also to let you know that this video and the series, the, uh, the PreSonus Revelator series, is a sponsored video by Sweetwater themselves. They sent me this microphone to check out for you guys, and I think it's very, very cool. So check out the other videos in the description box. You'll really like uh, those there. So let's jump in here to the computer. So the first thing you want to do when you get your PreSonus Revelator is you want to register it on the PreSonus.com website, and you want to make sure that you download the latest version of Universal Control, which I've done here. Now, as I said in my other videos, if this is not your first PreSonus product, let's say you're using one of their audio interfaces and you have universal control already on your system, when you get the Revelator, make sure you update the firmware, make sure you get the latest version. You wanna make sure that you do that anytime you buy a new piece of gear, uh, you wanna make sure that your universal control, if it's PreSonus gear, uh, is updated to the latest firmware. So once we do that, we open this up and we see the Revelator right here. Now on device mode here, we wanna make sure this is set to multi when we're doing live streaming, okay? So make sure this is set to multi, not single. That was for doing podcasting and other things that I showed you in the videos in the description box below. So set it to multi. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. The second thing we wanna make sure we do is you wanna to go to your computer uh, sound card, whether you're Mac or PC, I'm on a Mac, and you wanna change the preferences to make sure that your output device is in fact the Revelator, which is right here. And you'll see this Revelator, Revelator Loopback 1 and Loopback 2. Again, that's because we, cho we chose multi output in the universal control. But we wanna make sure that our Mac sound says Revelator, not Loopback 1 and Loopback 2, okay? So that's the first thing we're gonna do after we set to multi. Uh, second thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, open up, um, let's say OBS here, and we're gonna uh, create uh, a setup for our live stream. So I opened up a blank copy here of OBS. Again, this will work on Windows as well. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna set up um, an audio capture device. So I'm gonna come down here to uh, sources. I'm gonna click the, bu the plus button. I'm gonna go to um, audio input capture. And we can name this, I'll name it, uh, vocal mic, and I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna pick the device. Now the device that I wanna use here is I want to uh, make this the Revelator. So Revelator is gonna be our uh, device. Okay, and I'm gonna hit okay. And you can see already here in OBS, my voice is coming in on the Revelator. Now we also need a video device if you wanna do a live stream here. So let's do that here. Let's click on the plus button and let's go to video capture device. And we can call this uh, video if we want or whatever we want to call it, the name of your webcam, whatever you want to call it. But you can name it. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to pick our device. And I have two devices here. I can either pick my FaceTime camera built right into my uh, iMac here Pro or I can pick my DSLR, which is what I'm going to pick. And there I am. Hey. So there's my video and you can position that anywhere on the screen that you want. Okay, so now that we have um, OBS, the input for the video and the input for the audio setup, we can um, just minimize this for a second. Now let's, uh, let's open up Universal Control here. Let's open up the Revelator app here, okay? So here's the app. So you can see my microphone coming in here. And as I said in the other videos, you wanna make sure you set the game so we're not clipping, that if you get a little loud, you're not gonna clip, right? So we're on the main output here. Again, you can watch the other videos and I walk you through the entire application, but if we're clicked on the main output, this is what's gonna go up to YouTube or through OBS to YouTube. 
So want to make sure that my microphone is not clipping here on the input channel or on the master out, and it certainly is not. It is super conservative. Um, we also want to make sure uh, now that we picked our, um, our preset. I just set up a preset called Dave's Vocal. It's the male broadcast preset that's a little tweaked, um, and we're going to go from there. Now, once we've done that, we can minimize that. Now, let's say... In this particular uh, live stream, we wanna you, we wanna play back audio. Let's say from our DAW. I do this all the time. If you watch any of my live stream broadcasts, and they're all up on my YouTube channel, I do what I'm about to do here all the time prior to the revelator. So this is very, something that's very common for me, and this is a very cool uh, product, the revelator, to be able to make this easier than the way my setup is currently. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna open up Studio One here. Let's minimize the revelator for a second. I'm gonna open up Studio One and I opened up a session here, okay? So let's say I wanna play back this session as part of my live stream and I want people to be able to see and hear what's going on in the DAW. No problem. I'm gonna come up to Studio One. I'm gonna to go to Preferences. I'm gonna make sure now that my playback device is Revelator Loopback One, okay? That's what you want it to be, Loopback One. And I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so make sure that's on Loopback One, which in my case that it is, okay? Now if I open up if I press play on this, let me turn down the master volume here. If I press play on this, and you see it playing back in Studio One, if I open up the Revelator, you're gonna see that it's coming back right here on Loopback One. Okay, right now I have the master fader down, so I could turn this up if I wanted to, or I can turn that up. Okay and we can blend the sound of our DAW with my microphone going into OBS, which is really cool. Now I could double click in here and I could call this uh, DAW if I want, if I want to rename it. My last video we were, we were uh, doing um, Skype, so uh, we have Skype over here, but you can rename these anything you want. So once you have that, and let me just stop this for a minute, and when I stop it, you see it goes away. So that's what's going out the main outputs. You see my voice going out and you'll see the DAW going out on loop back one. If I was using my headphones right now plugged into the Revelator, if I come up to the Revelator, um, I have a different mix. So I can mix my voice here and then I can also mix loop back one. I can mix in so I could hear my voice and I can blend it with the DAW's audio, which is very, very cool. That's a really nice feature. It's not so much the routing of getting everything to OBS. You could always do that with a couple of audio interfaces, a little bit more gear than you need, but the Revelator. But what's great about it is you can blend the different audio sources and have your own custom mix. That's what makes this really cool, which was not easily done prior to the Revelator. Trust me, I do this all the time, so I know. So, but the main mix is what's going out to YouTube. So now we'll can minimize this. Once you have that all set up, now what we need to do is in our, um, to set this up to go to YouTube, what we wanna be able to do is we gotta be able to have our um, stream key to set it up in our OBS software. So if I go out to YouTube here, and if I just go to, uh, let's see, uh, go live, if I want it to go live. Oh, it's awfully bright. Now I have a bunch of, I have, um, I'm gonna go to manage here. live stream scheduled, so I wanna make sure I don't screw up the stream key. So you could just go to schedule a stream if you have other ones already scheduled. And I can say create new, and I can call this uh, rev test. I Right now I'll make it unlisted so nobody sees it. You have your description box, you could put all that in, so on and so forth. You can monetize it if you're able to, if you're a YouTube partner, you can do that. You can upload a custom thumbnail. Um, you can do all of that stuff. You can you can schedule it for the future, whatever you wanna do. Um, and then you hit create stream. Now we're still not live yet, right? Because we still gotta do the something in OBS. But what we need to do first is we need to come over here to the stream key. We need to copy the stream key, okay? And we need to bring that into OBS. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna copy the stream key by hitting the button, right? Copy the stream key, okay? And then I'm going to minimize this. I'm gonna to go to back to OBS and I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm gonna to go to stream. And right here where the stream key is, I'm gonna delete the old one. I'm gonna copy, I pasted the new one. I'm gonna hit okay. Now, if I say start streaming, 
it's going to stream up to YouTube. So I'm going to hit start streaming on my software, OBS. I'm going to go out to YouTube and you're going to see it connect here in a second. Takes a second or two here, depending on your internet connection speed. It says excellent connection. And now if I go live, top right hand corner, go live. And it should be going, now I'm live. And here I am, hey, and there's gonna be delay over YouTube. Okay, so now I'm live on YouTube and this is how you do your stream. And when you're done with your stream, you would come in here, you'd click the top right hand corner, end the stream. Yes, you wanna end it. I can minimize this and then I can stop streaming here in OBS. And if I wanted to record, um, the, the live stream to my hard drive so I can edit the video later. You could have just pressed start recording as well. So that is how easy it is to set up the Revelator with OBS in live streaming. And like I said, once again, what's really cool about this is this loopback feature. This is what makes this thing powerful. Yes, it's an awesome microphone. Yes, you can tailor the sound. We looked at that in some other videos. Go watch the videos and the links are in the description. But the power is being able to blend different audio sources. That is something that they made super, super simple here. Now we just use DAW audio. Let's say at the same time, let's say we wanted to play back something in iTunes, right? Say we wanted to play back a bed of music here and we wanted to play back or something from YouTube. Let's say another YouTube channel, we wanted to play some music. I can call this YouTube, right? And this is coming on playback. Playback track is any is your audio's computer because our audio, remember our Mac was set up as the revelator, right? So now anything I play back on my computer is gonna come in on play on track one. Let me show you that quickly and then we'll end the video. So if I go back to YouTube and let's just say I pick, uh, I don't know, anything music here related? <laughs> let's pick a, oh, a Sweetwater video. Very, very good, my favorite. So there's Sweetwater playing back, okay? Sweetwater video, and here it is on that fader. Okay, so now, turn that all the way down and we can shut off YouTube here for a second. Hey, good old Mitch, 535 Rupert Neve stuff. Very, very cool. Anyway, think about the possibilities. So now I'm streaming through OBS up to YouTube. I have a bed of music, iTunes, a YouTube video, whatever I want playing here. I can have my DAW music playing here, all completely separate from my voice coming in here so I can get that nice blend, that mix between the three. And even if I wanted to bring in, let's say a, a Skype person to do an interview for the live stream, I can go to Skype and I can set it up on loop back too. I could call this Skype call. Right, again, we're on the main output now. So here's the mix. And if I go to Skype, even though I showed you this in the last video, I'll show it to you in this video too, part of live streaming. If I go to Skype and I go to my audio and video settings, all I have to do is make sure that my microphone is set back now to loop back two and that my speakers are set back to loop back two. Now, when I play the test tone, this will simulate a caller playing the Skype test tone. Here it is. Right, right there, Skype caller. Go back to the revelator. Okay, so now I can have a Skype caller on this mix, on that channel. I have my DAW on this channel and I have my YouTube video or iTunes or Spotify or Soundbed here. All blended together at the perfect volume levels so when you get up to OBS, OBS is gonna hear the main output here. They're gonna hear this main output, the combination or the blend of all four of these faders. OBS is gonna hear right here. Very, 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 very cool. That is something that is not easily done prior to the Revelator, okay? So that is how you set up OBS with the Revelator in a couple of different sound sources so you can do a live stream on YouTube. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, click the link in the description box if you wanna head out to Sweetwater and check out the Revelator 
for yourself. And also check out the other videos that I've done in the Revelator series. I show you exactly how to set them up for very specific uses. Um, and last but not least, if this is your first time here, head out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I want to give you a free mixing course. It's right on the homepage. It's worth 50 bucks. It's my gift to you just for going to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And on behalf of Sweetwater and Home Recording Made Easy, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Take care.